coming from um, from Anol kapag parehong gwapo at maganda ang sarap pag-untugin nasa ng hustisya <laughs> Dennis Finch uh, couples who celebrate anniversaries month series week series day series oh my gosh uh, Drew uh, halin halinhinan sila sa pag kiss and tell kapag wala yung isa Good morning, everyone. Hi, good morning. It's a Thursday. Yes, it is. We're almost there. Just hang on. <laughs> One more day and it's the weekend already. Yes, it is. Okay, so today we've got a top ten for you. Uh, this time sent in by Cherry the Great. Mm -hmm. We are looking for the top ten signs you are an annoying couple. <laughs> there are annoying people. Yes. There are annoying couples. I mean, we know a couple of couples in our lives that you find extra annoying for whatever reason. Being together makes them annoying. Yes. Yeah. And they are annoying as a as a as a pair. It's like a group yeah. effort. <laughs> Whenever they're together, you just can't stand them. The, but separately, you might like them. Yes. And you have to tell us why you find them annoying. Okay. So the top ten signs that you've become an annoying, annoying couple. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We've got our top ten for today, courtesy of Cherry the Great. The top ten signs that you've become an annoying, annoying couple. couple. Starting off at number ten from Blitzkrieg. One time, I was on a jeep, tapos mayroong couple na, na sumakay, nagkikiliitian, naghaharutan, and uh, as if there was nobody else on the jeepney. And they were already bumping the people beside them. And they didn't care. They were making a lot of noise, they were being really annoying, and they didn't care. Okay, that's... Yeah. yeah. That, They've become that. that. Yes. And uh, number nine, coming from Jaya... When they forward you each other's sickeningly sweet text. <laughs> it's like, we're not part of this. Yeah, Why it's just you? for the two of you. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys enjoy it. You be as sweet as you want. I guess they want to say, see how, how now... How sweet we are. Yeah, and how nice I have it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they just need to... Uh, Show other people. Yeah. But then it makes the friends uncomfortable. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's it's harmless. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, they just don't know. Yeah. But sometimes it's a, it's an actual, what do you call this? It's a calculated thing. Maybe because things aren't really going that well. And they want... That's why they're that's doing true. this, just to dispel the rumors. Yeah. Number eight, coming from No Name, when they finish each other's sentences. Oh. And they do it as a shtick, maybe. Because if it's natural... It wouldn't be so bad. That wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. I mean, it's actually cute. And couples do that. Yeah, all the time. But I guess if they do it for effect, or if they're in Tagalog, they're papa cute. Mm -hmm. That's, that gets annoying. Number seven from uh, Mang Tomas. If uh, on their first anniversary, they realize 12 times na silang nagbe-break. So it means every month. They're breaking up. They're breaking up. Yeah. And I guess for the people around them, it's okay if they break up every now and like breaks breakups uh sort of happen are big yeah so usually you know you invest a lot of oh really oh how are you guys mm -hmm. but if it happens every month you're like okay <laughs> and on the first year it's like uh okay and uh, the entry that caps off the bottom half of the top 10 signs you have become an annoying couple comes from okay a lot of people uh from Dennis Finch Des Su uh, Snow Kisser and Chef Chef I'm. They all say? Okay. Basically, what they're all saying is, kapag walang, walang pinipili ang kanilang PDA. Okay. They, you know, they have this public display of uh, emotion, uh, affection, mm -hmm. uh, even in improper places. Like in church. Like in church. Yeah. Like uh, in somebody else's car. Let's say na you were nakisakay yes. as a couple. And then you start PDAing. That's kind of like, wait a minute, this is this is my car. Why are you kissing in the back seat? This is kind of weird. Okay. And uh, But Chef Chefan took it a step further. When ugly couples do PDA, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. good-looking couples, that's okay. Fine. But ugly couples, that can be a little offensive. And Hell Girl said, if their PDA has leveled up to soft porn level. Because <laughs> there's a PDA like kissing. Yeah. Or hugging. 
That's PDA. Yeah. But I guess when you take it to a degree where people are already uncomfortable. Or you're taking pieces of clothing off. Yeah, pieces of clothing. Or your hands are starting to go to places where it's already improper if you do that in public. Yeah. I guess that becomes really annoying. True. All right. So there you go. That sort of thing. You have to tell us why you find couples annoying. Uh, Okay. All right. So the top 10 signs that you have become an annoying couple, if you've got some more entries, key in Rx, space your entries, and send them to 2299. If you are abroad, tweet us via twitter.com slash rxtmr. The Morning The Morning Rush. Rx 93.1. And here we go. The top 10. Sent in by Cherry the Great, the t- and so many people are joining in. I think it's we struck a nerve with this one. Yeah, thank you to Cherry. The top ten signs you've become an annoying couple. And some people do <clears throat> turn yeah. into a, an annoying couple. Like they're so cool when they weren't together yet, and then yes. the moment they got together, it's like what they happened? become annoying. <laughs> Number five, coming from Mr. Perk. He really can't stand it when boy carries girl's shoulder bag. <laughs> like okay. in public places. It's yes. like, it's your bag. It's not that big. It's not that heavy. You're not really carrying anything else. And please, it's degrading. And I think it's just, like, <laughs> cute. Oh. You know, it's, it's, it, I think it's meant for people to see. Not so much that it's heavy. Yes. Because obviously it's not. It's a way of saying, well, he's my boyfriend. Yeah. And, you know, look how sweet he is. He's mm-hmm. carrying my bag. <laughs> Number four. Uh, one, one more in, uh, from Mr. Perk. When they sing their lo- their theme song, mm-hmm. complete with sign language and choreography. <laughs> they have nothing to do except yeah. to make each other, I don't know. More annoying. Yeah, <laughs> could be. Number four from Abernathy. You can make, okay, if you as a couple uh, can make the entire group feel out of place. Yes. You're the minority, but you make everybody, everybody else feel, weird. feel out of place. And uh, one more from, and uh, also from a Jacko. Same thing. Number three from Dennis Pinch. If you have annoying Facebook updates about their relationships. Oh. And you know, like all you ever read on their Facebook is, uh, me and my sweetheart did this, me and my sweetheart did that, I love my sweetheart. Somebody comes to mind. My sweetheart is so annoying. Great. <laughs> Sorry, but it is. Yeah. All right, already you're together. And so, somebody else, I'm so sorry. It's just that I'm I'm deluge. And another one sent in. When your feed on Facebook is dominated by their their updates messages about each other or each messages oh, to yeah, each other. That's and true. like you again, like girl to boy, boy to girl, girl <laughs> to boy, again. boy to girl, girl to boy, and an hour apart, thirty minutes apart, and they yeah. do it the whole day. Can't you text? Exactly. Each other. Again, it's not enough. They need to tell everyone that they're yeah, being sweet. That's what it is. Because there's nothing wrong with it. But it's the fact that they feel like they're performing for everybody. Exactly. There you go. That's a, that's a thing. When they're performing. Yes. And from Dennis Pinch, one more. If you tell your secret to one, and they tell each other all the time. Oh, yeah. You should be able to keep, keep a secret. Secrets. Especially if it's not about you, it's not about your relationship. And especially if you're being told. If you're being told not to tell. Not to, yes. Yeah, that's kind of weird. And uh, number two, coming from Jojo. When, as a couple, you give other couples couples advice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, unless they ask for it. Unless they ask for it. I mean, if they did, let's say, what do you guys do? Because we're having a problem with this. So what about you? But when, as a couple, you give other couples couples advice. Mm. And the number one sign you have become an annoying couple comes from Mojako. Mojako says, if you come to them and you tell them how heartbroken you are, Mm -hmm. they tell you how happy they are. (laughs) Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's a war, I tell you. And he was just saying, rub salt in the wound, why don't you? And please, just because you've turned into a couple doesn't mean you can be insensitive. Yes, and specifically if, you know, I think it's okay if you tell, like, wala lang. Let's say mm-hmm. you're not talking about anything, in, you know, anything specific. And you just tell your friends how happy you are. That's okay. Yes. Because it's out of nowhere. True. But when one friend comes to you specifically to tell you how horrible they're feeling about their love life, don't counter with, you know what? We are so happy together. (laughs) And we've never really had problems like this. 
。はい。<笑><笑>はいはいいやアロメスペギーチョッサカバチョッワンチョッ Because they're so annoying Yeah, so it's like Where did the sensitivity A little sensitivity、go? Well, there are couples who are、yeah. just not I don't know It's like you don't want to hang around them Yeah So it's sometimes, sometimes they bring out the best in each other Sometimes they bring out the annoying in each other Uh huh Uh huh So there you go That's what we're looking for But to Mojako Congratulations. Yes. The top 10 sent in by Cherry the Great. Thank you very much. The top 10、uh, signs you have become an annoying, annoying couple. couple. Number 10 coming from Dennis Finch.、Uh, couples who celebrate anniversaries, month series, week series, day series. Oh my gosh. And Abernathy was saying, I can't stand it when like, couples do month series. By the way, happy 100th. 10th month to my honey. <laughs> And he was, she was going, Hiya! <laughs> She supplied it herself. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so that's what we、yeah. said earlier. And from Dennis Finch, couples who always have like inside jokes, they say it out loud. Then and then only they the don't two of to, them. And they don't care to explain. Yeah, and only the two of them laugh. It's like, okay. Because when people do that, and obviously the other people don't realize, some couples would tell them, no, and then, you know, they tell them, proceed to tell them what it, what it is. Some don't. I think it's because they're not aware、yeah. that there are other people. Yes. I think it's that inside. Sensitivity. I don't like it when couples whisper in front of other people. Because it's like, and、yeah. constantly, because obviously it probably would、it's、affect、yeah. at least <laughs> one person in the group. Because if it wasn't, let's say it's a mean comment. But if it has no effect on anyone, you'd say it out loud,、yeah. right? And then, and then you whisper all the time. So you、I、go, hi ya! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Number nine coming from Blitzkrieg, Homer Singson, and Captain. People who baby talk. They say stuff like, I love you. <laughs> Aren't you guilty of this? <laughs> yeah. But not, I love you. I don't say, I love you. Okay, then what do you say? Something else. Like? And I do, and I use a certain voice. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but at least it's not that annoying. It's、yeah. funny. It's cute.、Not、but the, then maybe because we're your friends. Not the I love you kind of、mm -hmm. thing. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, number eight coming from Hell Girl. If they are too willing to give graphic details of their sex life to anyone who would care to listen.、Yes. And also something from R. Vincent. Unless they were asking for it. You know, if people ask, like, okay, what happened? What happened next? Or,、mm. Then you can. But if it's unsolicited, that can be a little too much. It's, to it, yeah, it's, it's TMI. Yeah, and from、uh, Drew,、uh, halin, halin hinan sila sa p a g k i s a n t e l kapag wala yung isa.、Mm -hmm. So let's say when, when boy isn't around, girl tells you all the details. When girl isn't around, then boy tells you all the details. So that can be Sometimes a little too much. Sometimes it's cute. I guess it really depends on the couple.、Yeah. How they execute it. Or if they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> if、oh, they gave details.、Oh, yeah, sure. That would be hot. Yeah, you sure, know, you'd sure, have images, sure, right? Sure, sure, sure. And、uh, number seven from Anto. Sigawan, sampalan, tapos maya maya, sweet na naman. <laughs> Halikan, yakapan, tapos maya maya, away na naman. Sigawan, <laughs> sampalan. <laughs> so that cycle, that's really annoying. <laughs> Because it's like they take you on a roller coaster ride, and sometimes it's tiring. Because you don't find it. Even、any. for them. Even for them. Even、yes. for them. But、yeah. I mean. Well, for everyone concerned. Yeah, but at least with them, they get to partake in the making up yes, part. Exactly.、Mm. Other people just look away when、mm. they, you know. And some things are just meant to be in public. Not meant to be. Not meant to be in public. So when you're too sweet or you're too. You're fighting too much, all of that is like, you know, keep it in the bedroom.、Mm -hmm. Number, and the entry that caps off the bottom half of the top 10 signs you've become an annoying couple comes from Kirky Mommy. Kirky Mommy says, Yung couples na ang kwento nila puro good. Ang kwento naman sila na problema. <laughs> <laughs> no, because for her, it's like, No couple is perfect.、Mm -hmm. So if you always come to us and you're always telling us how great it is, you tend to be suspicious. Yeah. Because a well rounded couple would tell you both how, how good it is and how bad it is.、Mm -hmm. Because that's how life is. It's a fact. No relationship is perfect.、Mm -hmm. So if they only 
tell you the good, you get this nagging suspicion that it's a press release. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or at least it's a way of portraying themselves as quote unquote the perfect couple, and they want people to be like, "Oh, you're so nakakaingit," you know. I hope we're like that. Okay, because <clears throat> it takes on a different feel, like now and like in our group of friends. Mm-hmm. The partners have become part of our <coughs> barcada. Yeah. So, but I was never that friend who would bring someone and they he or, he would be absorbed into the. <laughs> I was about <laughs> to say he or she. <laughs> <laughs> I meant he, just a he, okay? <laughs> okay, no, because you, because we're so used oh to when no. we're talking. I know. He or she. What I meant, but I didn't say it. Yeah, okay. Okay, anyway. I'm not the friend who, who brings someone, a, a guy, and then he's absorbed in the group. Mm-hmm. That's never happened. Mm-hmm. See, I lost my point. Something about... T- saying that things are going good or telling your problems. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so, I wouldn't know. But I think in our group of friends, uh, that you guys do say when it's not so nice. Yeah. No, it's like you just... And things aren't so good, I mean. Obviously, if you're if you're good friends, you just want to make cuento. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is. So, obviously, if you're being up front, you make <laughs> cuento about the good stuff and you make cuento about the, the bad, bad stuff. stuff. Yeah. So you, you just kind of feel a little suspicious when it's always the good stuff. Because mm-hmm. you, you feel like, uh-oh, there are cracks here and they, they feel like they need to say, no, we're good. We're good, Because yeah. they're being very defensive. That's why when all you ever hear is like all professions of love mm-hmm. or, oh, I love my sweetheart. Oh, my sweetheart just gave me this. You're like, is something up? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, what's normal is to have a little bit of both. It's okay to have more of one. Let's say you're a little bit more problematic than you are good, or you're a little <laughs> bit better than you are problematic, but not just one. No, scrap all that explanation. Yeah. We just want the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We just want the dirt. We just want the dirt, okay? okay so That's all we want. I think this is an eye-opener for a lot of couples. A lot I, of people are going, so. I think so. we do that. Is that annoying? <laughs> <laughs> but it's so cute. <laughs> because there's a lot of self-awareness suddenly going on. Like, do we do that there? Yeah. Or they know they do that, but they didn't know that it was annoying the hell out of other people. Yeah. Right? So it's, I think it's a healthy exercise. And remember, just because one finds it annoying, it doesn't mean... It's annoying for everybody. It's annoying for everyone. It's just annoying to us. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The top ten um, sent in by Cherry the Great. The top ten signs you have become an annoying couple. Let's start off at number five. Coming from... um, From Anol. Kapag parehong guapot maganda. Ang sarap pag-untugin. Nasa ng hustisya. (laughs) (laughs) You're annoying just by the virtue of you both being good looking. Can't one of you be ugly Ugly? at least? Yeah, you're making everyone feel bad. And uh, number uh, four from Free Your Mind. One time... Ang haba ng pila sa jeep, and there was this couple, and when it was their turn, they were taking up so much time because hindi sila makahanap na ng place na magkakatabi sila. Oh. So they didn't want to board. They they needed a ride already because they were in a line, but they didn't want to sit apart. Apart. So they wanted to make sure that you know in a jeep ni magkatabi sila. Now this is annoying mm-hmm. because you're not only annoying, but you're also Holding up the line, inconveniencing other people. Other people just and for what? You can you can hug right after you get off the jeepney. True. The most the most important want. thing is to get to where you need to, get to be. To where you need to be. I don't see the point why you have to be beside each other. I mean, like with movies, I can understand because that's like two and a half hours mm-hmm. that you will you know be seated apart. But a jeepney ride, come on. Number um, number three coming from. Mang Tomas and Mariah Cario. First, Mang Tomas said, "If you you're very PDA ish, uh, but you're like three decades apart in terms of age, oh. because you make n- not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that you make people very uncomfortable because, well, you look like you're old enough to be a her dad or her grandfather, or years. his mother, or his mother, her, yes, his uh, grandmother." And oh my. from Mariah Cario, true story, he was watching a movie next to a 
50-ish year old man and a 20-ish year old girl. And then when he was obviously being, you know, very uncomfortable already, the 50-ish year old guy gave him 200 pesos to transfer seats. Isn't that sleazy? You feel yeah, dirty. Yes, you would. And it's like, come on. I'm just mm. watching a movie here. Just stop it. Instead of asking me to transfer, just stop, stop. it. Yeah. Get a room somewhere and, you yeah, know, yeah. do your thing there. Yeah. Yeah, get a room. Get a room. And uh, number two, <laughs> coming from, from Yankees. Yankee says, Sumama yo... <laughs> 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 okay, Yankee says, Kapag sumasama yung isa, kahit boys or girls night out. Oh, yeah. Like, boys night out. But the girl would insist on coming. Mm-hmm. Going. Mm-hmm. And then, <laughs> tagging along. <laughs> tagging along. Or if it's a girl's night out, and the husband or the boyfriend insists on, on yeah. you know, going with them. It's like, don't you understand the concept? Yes. It's girls all girls. Girls night out. All boys. boys. Night out. It must be more difficult slash easier if you're like a gay couple then. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. if it's a boy's night out, you're also a boy. Yeah, or if, if it's, it's a, a girl's, girl's night out, you're, you're also, also a girl. girl. So, I don't know how that works. Yeah, you're right. Because maybe what you mean by... it only goes with straight. Right? But, but, because it might mean boy's night out for us, Barcada. Mm-hmm. Not literally just boy's I night out. I think it's not the gender, but more like my friends. My friends. Friends night out. Yes, mm-hmm. there you go. That's the better way of doing it. And the number one sign you have become an annoying couple comes from Cat Francis. Cat Francis says, while doing PDA, the couple looks at a single friend as they're doing their PDA, mm-hmm. looks at the single friend and then goes, mahahanap mo rin ang para sa iyo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hi. <Hi-ya! Joke. laughs> It's as That's if so gross. it's as if you know. Oh, we're kissing. Oh, look at the straight friend. You know, she's she's not with anyone. Single friend. So they feel like they suddenly have to like give, give throw the dog a bone and say hayaan mo mahanap mo rin yung para sa <laughs> you. You know, first you don't know that. Yeah. Two, why the need? No, they to, just feel very high and me. mighty. Yeah, exactly. Because they're coupled up. Mm-hmm. And some people do. And in the middle of, like, PDA, yeah. then they sort of, like, it's feel the, sorry for you. I think that's it. It's the condescension. Yeah. Yeah. They suddenly feel sorry. Therefore, they feel the need to cheer you <laughs> up, quote unquote. You know what she should have said? What? Di bale. din kayo. 